here we are to the third module of the tonality mask panel which is the export panel so the export panel as uh, already described quickly described in the introduction is a very powerful tool which allows very very quickly to customize the settings when you have finalized your image and you want to export it so you have different sections regarding this uh, the possibility of uh, customization and once you have finished to customize your setting for uh, export image you can create some presets by clicking here on the plus button and you can store the preset for uh, for later usage and for quickly uh, to be quickly applied when uh, when you develop uh, other images so let's uh, let's have a, um, a deeper look into into the options of this uh, of this panel so in the, in the top part there are uh, all, uh, all buttons regarding the, the presets so we have the possibility to de delete update or add a new presets so the, this button is when you want to update the presets with the current settings you have uh, specified uh, below and uh, um, then we have the preset which is a dropbox where you can uh, uh, select the, the, the preset you have already already created the information about the file so it is uh, uh, the width and height of the file and also the pixel per inch uh, let's say we want to create for example um, a setting to uh, export the image for uh, for web so we can set the destination which is the, for me the current document folder is okay otherwise you can select uh, you can put it on the desktop or another folder which you can uh, choose or ask later if you want to be asked uh, at the end of the process where you want to put the, the image and you can add a prefix and a suffix on, on the image I will uh, add, uh, for example, underscore uh, 1920 because I, I will export in at uh, uh, 1920 pixel uh, on the long side. So I want to have the, the suffix. Just one quickly understand that the file has uh, has been uh, resized. Uh, we have the optimization. So, which is uh, for web and social in this case, but we can also select uh, chemical print, inkjet, or just a backup. So we are not applying any any optimization on, on the profile. So the prof the profile is uh, sRGB for the uh, for the web, but we can also change the the profile by by clicking here when we have the most common profile for uh, for photography. Uh, we can then select uh, the the size how to work on the size we can make no resize on the image we can uh, work on select the horizontal side but also the vertical side or the long or the short side we can fit and stretch if we want the, uh, the image to be adapted to a different size and we also have a crop to center which is something very very specific if you want just the image to be that size and you, you don't want to fit you just want to crop anything you, you don't need to to make the image fit on the size you specify so we can select pixel or centimeter or inches as, uh, depending on what we want to do so we choose one, 1920 pixel we want to enhance the details uh, both on the light and the darks uh, at 100 percent we uh, want the glow if we want the glow we can select here specific glow because when we're reducing the, the an image when resizing an image you need to apply the glow at the specific size because the glow is based on on the specific uh, pixel appearance of the of the image you may select the watermark uh, for example you, you also have a preset for watermark and you can customize uh, uh, you customize your watermark here and save them as a, as a preset and then you may also uh, decide if you want a frame or not so if you want a frame let's say 199 pixel white or black uh, on the image and then you can choose the format jpg jpg 
PNG and TIFF and then the, of course the quality or the, the limit to a specific, a specific size of, of the image. At the end you may save the preset if you like it and then by clicking on resize the image, the image will be just resized and will be applied all the effects you have, uh, you have decided export if you want to export after you have resized or just one click uh, resize and export and then get back on the on the image you are uh, you are working and as you see after creating uh, all uh, all presets you just by a single click uh, you you will be able to to recall your uh, your preset and, and apply the uh, the resize and then the export on, on the image.